me one step back. So going into the winter, this box was too deep, and there are a ton of bees in this hive. But over the, over the past month or so, they have moved from the bottom of the hive into the top of the hive where all the honey stores are. And so I'm going in here and checking to see what's on the frames, what's in the frames. There's just one or two bees down here altogether. All the bees are clustered up where the honey is. So now it's time to reduce these down back to one deep. And it's a, a lot less space that they have to keep warm. Uh, this, high, this box being empty is going to allow pests to uh, come into the hive. Uh, mice, um, wax moths will all move in and take over and ruin your drawn comb. So we want, this drawn comb is, is like gold to us, so we want to save that for spring. So we will take it out, uh, take it inside, store it, there's also a lot of pollen in here, which will also be very good for spring. Uh, I'll put it in, uh, I'll put some moth crystals on top of a few boxes and keep the moths out of it. And come springtime, this will be uh, all put back into the hive to get them started. We'll check to make sure that they have uh, honey and uh, pollen stores in the top here just to be sure that they do have uh, uh, a little bit of pollen to get them through uh, but since they are all upstairs I would highly doubt that uh, down here uh, this one frame really uh, would be all of the stores that they would have in pollen. In addition, uh, we have been feeding pollen substitute that gives them a little bit of something to uh, store away even in the winter just to get them through, uh, through the winter months. <clears throat> One reason that uh, they probably would not venture down into this box in order to use any uh, pollen that's down there is once it gets so cold, they really don't break away from the, uh, from the cluster too far. So moving anything that they would use into the top and close to the cluster is going to be vital to get them through the winter months.